Well, how's it going, YouTube? Uh, this video right here is going to be about a fruit tree that I that I got, and uh, I've never pruned it. It was never pruned when I got it, and this is what it looks like. And um, it's hard to find this on YouTube. You don't usually see unpruned fruit trees, or people might have them, but they don't showcase them. I want to really show this, and I've got a lot of different types of fruit trees around here, and I've got a lot that have been pruned um, to what people call open center, uh, where the main the main tree, the main central leader of the tree is cut and it allows the branches to kind of open up and then you get fruit on those. Now, um, there's, there's pros and cons to both. There's pros and cons to leaving your fruit tree alone and not pruning it. And there's also pros and cons to, uh, uh, you know, doing the open center. And uh, let's talk about open center. An open center allows your fruit tree to produce very early and produces a lot. Uh, but the problem is, is that later on, you might lose a few of these branches. And I'm going to show you guys a peach tree here in town that I used to get um, peaches from that had about four or five branches going in different directions. And then we had a really dry summer and half of the half of the tree died so they ended up cutting it back and it looks like a bonsai tree now it's like a bonsai peach tree where it's just leaning like this because this is the only half of the tree that survived so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that and uh, and I'm also gonna show you that tree right here you know this tree right here has never been pruned you can see the central leader going straight up and when I bought this tree it had the same thing it had just one main stem and branches going off of each side and when I planted it, it it did good it still kept growing up like that so I left it you know and um, use this video as a reference when you're thinking about pruning your fruit trees now I told you the pros and cons about open center you know it produces a lot more they don't live as long sometimes you have issues with the branches and stuff uh, now with this tree right here the pros and cons to this What's nice about it is you get a nice big full tree um, and it doesn't really, um, that's the cons. One of the cons is it doesn't really produce early on um, and you don't get a lot of fruit in the beginning. But as the tree gets bigger, uh, you get tons and tons of fruit over time and uh, the tree actually lives a lot longer because it has been pruned. And the nice thing too is if let's say half of this tree did die. I'm not going to question myself whether, hey, I should have probably pruned heavier this year. Or maybe I shouldn't have pruned this year. Or maybe I should have done this, should have. If you just leave it the hell alone and you put a seed in the ground and you get a natural peach tree or you get one that hasn't been pruned and you just leave it alone, they produce a ton of peaches. This tree was loaded last year before I went to Colorado. And uh, normally this time of year I'd be showing you, hey, look at all the different fruit. Fruit I've got in my fruit trees, but... I've mentioned it in the past, we've had multiple frosts. We had a frost, but like May 1st, right? May 1st in Tennessee, and uh, it was about like May 29th, and then May 1st also too, uh, where, where I was right here. It got down in the low 30s. Any little remaining fruit that was left, or any flowers that hadn't been killed in earlier frosts that we've had, was just gone. So, I don't have very many fruit. I've only got a few cherries on some of the cherry trees, but that's it. Uh, but it gives me time to talk about this. It gives me a chance to talk about this 20-some foot tall, 20 foot wide, unpruned peach tree and um, what it looks like. And I'm going to go walk over here by it and show you big, just how big it is while I'm standing next to it. Give it a little shake when you want the peaches to fall down. That's how you know if it's ripe or not. But yeah, this is what a, a four-year-old unpruned peach tree looked like. This is one of the first trees I planted on this property when we moved here about four years ago. And uh, I also have another peach tree over here that you can kind of see. It's right about there. That I planted about the same time. And I had an issue with it, you know. I didn't prune that tree and a bunch of different branches died off so uh, it's doing better it's turning back into a tree but a bunch of little suckers kind of popped up along the base of it which is cool but but yeah 20 feet wide 20 feet tall still growing tall and produces a ton of peaches um, and I've never had to prune it never did the open center um, but what's nice about the open center is it does produce a lot of peaches in the beginning but you know, you pay for that later on uh, with the health of your trees and stuff. And you have to kind of, you're going to have to decide eventually, 
hey, this tree branch looks bad. Which which branch, which one of these main branches you're going to have to eventually prune off because it's not doing as good as the rest, and or it completely dies for that matter when you have a really dry year, really dry summer. So, thanks for watching, guys. Unpruned four-year-old peach tree produces plenty of fruit. Use that as a reference. Thanks for watching.